We hear all the time in school about what to actually expect in an exam. How's the exam structured? How many minutes we should spend on each question? But we're not really taught how to actually prepare for the exam on the day of the exam, sit the exam, and then what to do after. So I thought that's what today's video would be about. I'd go through my process before an exam, during an exam, and afterwards to hopefully help you guys stress less and smash those exams. So my first tip is to prepare your bag the night beforehand. Make sure you got a clear pencil case, a clear drink bottle, lots of black pens, a calculator, a ruler, and anything else you might need in the exam. Another handy thing to bring along is an analog watch. You're allowed an analog watch on your desk and it's going to help if you're sitting a bit further away from the clock than what you would have liked. Alright, so after you've got your bag prepped, here's my exam process before you actually walk into that room. Get to school around 10 to 15 minutes before your exam starts. There's no point going to the library a few hours beforehand to try and cram it all in. It's just going to put your brain into overdrive and you're not going to perform in the actual exam. Walk into school with your headphones on and a banana in hand and then just go sit on your own. Listen to your favorite music and eat your banana. Another super important thing that helped me quite a lot is to just leave your notes at home. All right, and then a couple minutes before the exam starts, chuck your phone in your bag, headphones off, walk to the bathroom and take a quick leak, and then walk into that exam room ready to smash it. All right, now you're in the exam room. Here's my sort of process for actually working through the exam itself. Number one, remember that you don't know what you don't know. So focus on what you do know. Number two, have a look at the paper in full during reading time. Figure out what parts you like and what parts you don't like, and then start at the part where you feel the most confident. Number three, don't let the stuff that you don't know scare you into overthinking the easy stuff. At first glance, they're gonna seem really complex. Don't let that scare you into overthinking all the easier ones. Be confident in what you know, skip the ones that you don't know and come back to them at the end. Number four, remember the goal for exams is to maximize your marks. So make sure if you're running out of time, you focus on trying to soak up one to two marks in each question rather than spending all your time turning a four out of five into a five out of five. The goal is to just get as many marks as possible. And the easiest way to do that is to focus on the stuff you haven't yet answered to try and soak up as many marks as you can. Just be confident, smash the paper, and then when it's done, put your pen down and forget about it. All right, so now the exam's done. You've killed it, just stand up, walk out of the exam room, grab your stuff and go home. There's no need to talk with your friends about the exam, it's just gonna stress you out even more. If you wanna have a chat about maybe going to get lunch or going for a surf or doing something fun, fine, go for it. But don't discuss the exam because I promise you it's just gonna stress you out. And my last tip is just forget about the exam. It's done now, there's nothing you can do once you leave that exam room. So whatever you've done, forget about it, move on, focus on the next one. Reward yourself with a night off and then tomorrow we go again. And that's basically it, short and sweet, but I hope you found some value in this video that's going to help you on the day of your exams. I made a massive video about how to actually study for trials and some hot tips that are going to help you study more productively. If you haven't already seen my trial study video, make sure you tap the link on the screen. It'll take you to the video. Thanks so much for listening, guys. I hope I've helped you out today and you're ready to smash those exams. Remember, if you've liked what you've listened to, make sure you leave it a thumbs up, subscribe for our next vid, and make sure you check us out on Instagram at Uncle Nathan Co. You'll find out about the whole Uncle Nathan community and I'm sure you'll find some value in there somewhere. Cheers for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.